This is question number 249 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes like this. So consider the following circuit. Consider the following with respect to the given circuit. So we have been given a circuit and three statements. First statement is the transfer function of the circuit is so and so. If V1 is equal to 20, V2 is equal to something. If V1 is equal to something, V2 is equal to something. So in order to verify all the three statements, we'll first have to uh, develop the transfer function of the given circuit. So here the transfer function is between two voltages V1 and V2 and considering V1 to be input voltage and V2 to be output voltage, we can try to find the value of V2 divided by V1. We are trying to find this ratio V1 by V2, uh, V2 by V1 and here if you see the value of this V2 can be found out by applying the voltage division rule. That is here the V2 is the drop across this capacitor so we need to apply the voltage division rule and we need to find the value of V2 in terms of V1 such that uh, the ratio can be found. So the value of V2 can be found out like V2 is equals to V1 into the value of this impedance that is 1 by 1 by 40 S divided by 1 by S by 40 plus 4. So this 40 will go into the numerator. So if I, we are trying to find this ratio, so this V1 and V1 will get cancelled. So we have 40 by S into S divided by 40 plus 4s right so here this s and this s will get cancelled i can take s uh, 4 common from here such that it will become 4 tens of 40 4 tens of 40 plus s so the value of this ratio v2 by v1 is equals to 10 by 10 plus s so option a is right now we just have to substitute the values of v1 and v2 sorry v1 from b and c and we need to find what are the values of v2 that we are getting so let us substitute let us make those substitutions so we have v1 by v2 to be equal to 10 by s plus 10 in the first case we are substituting the value of v1 of t be equal to so this is v2 by v1 v1 to be equal to 20 such that this v2 will become the value of this is 20 so this will become 20 by s plus 10 so from here we can find the value of V2 of T is equals to inverse Laplace transform of 200 divided by S plus 10. So if we try to find the inverse Laplace transform of this, uh, we will get certain value. Let us see what we are getting. So this can be written as inverse Laplace of 20 multiplied with 10 divided by S square plus 10S. So this is in the standard form, right? This is in the standard form like omega by s square plus omega square. So this is not 10 s, this is just 10. So this will become equal to 20 times 1 minus e power minus 10 t. So that is what we have uh, we have been given here. So v2 is equals to 20 times 1 minus e power minus 10 t. So option b is also right. Now we shall try to find the value of by substituting the value in c. So here we have V2 is equals to 10 by S plus 10 into the value of V1. So the value of V1 is 20 sine 10 10, sorry, 20 sine 10 T. So we are trying to find the Laplace transform of 20 sine 10 T. So this will be equal to 20 times. So for sine omega T, the value is omega that is 10 divided by S square plus 10 square that is 100. So this will be equal to 200 divided by S square plus 100. So this will be equal to 2000 divided by the product of these two terms. So the same value we have in option C. So we say that for question number 249, the correct answer is option C that includes all the three statements 1, 2 and 3. So for question number 249, the correct answer is option C.